Welcome back future product designers to this beginner's course on Autodesk Fusion 360. My name is Avye Jamadagni and today we're going to look at fillets. So what are fillets? Fillets are basically any edge that's rounded off uh, primarily to make it more comfortable to hold and so also, also so the edge doesn't harm you in any way. Uh, fillets are often confused with chamfers. Chamfers are slightly different. All chamfers are is just when you take an edge and you uh, basically push the edge back in so you basically create another face and two more edges. So you still have a sharp edge, actually two sharp edges this time. It's just that the angle between the, both the faces is uh, slightly more, which, uh, which is why the edge is slightly less dangerous. But uh, as a rule of thumb, fillets are better than chamfers if you're planning to maintain safety. So let's get let's go on to this. So this lesson we will cover how to make a fillet, um, and also uh, some limitations with fillets. Now the last time uh, we ended, we ended with something like this. We extruded both these faces, uh, and so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start with filleting this main part over here, this front face. So to do that, let's click on the uh, view front face view cube. So we look at it, centralize it, and zoom in a little bit. And let's go ahead and uh, and to access the fillet, sorry, to access the uh, fillet um, of the feature, it's usually under modify. And as you can see, the keyboard shortcut is F. So we can as well just press F on our keyboard to activate the fillet one. Now, uh, we want it to be constant radius, and roll the corner type really doesn't matter for me. Setback is just, uh, just results in lesser edges and uh, lesser faces, but rolling back, uh, both of them are the same thing. Once you render it, you still see the same type of uh, uh, corner. So, let's, go, let's stick with rolling ball, and all we need to do is select uh, every single uh, edge that we want to uh, use. However, we could also select a face and do it, but I prefer to use edges. And anyway, sometimes when uh, when we're going to be using our window box feature, as we has said in our last lesson, uh, it's going to select faces as well. And I'm going to explain later what's the difference between select in selecting individual edges and selecting a face. So let's click on this area and let's drag a window box over uh, a window selection over this um, over all these squares and as you can see it says 50 faces and 200 edges which is fine and let's put a fillet of 0 0.5 mm let it load and go ahead and press enter As you can see now, um, yeah, as you can see, we have the fillets over here. So we've made these edges nice and smooth, and they also look a little better than the plain ones that we had last time. So that's that. Now, let's, um, yeah, now let's start filleting these main long edges. To do that, let's again hit F on our keyboard, and let's select this face, this face, this face and this face. Sorry. So this face. And let's put a fillet of one mm. let's go ahead and press enter sorry about the lag guys it's my laptop so the graphics aren't very great and it's trying to run on and I haven't had my um, cooler plugged in so we may experience a little bit of lag in this video sorry about that as you can see now all of these faces all of these edges 
are now completely billeted by 1 mm, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so now let's try uh, billeting this face. So let's go ahead and select this face. But when we try to do that, it selects all the other faces. And this is because we have this option called tangent chain check. So what tangent chain does is when you select an edge or a face, if uh, if something belong if something connected to that edge or face has already been filleted and it's a smooth transition between that face and this face, for example, then what it'll do is it'll select that face as well. Now this feature is very useful um, when to uh, when you say missed an edge by accident when filleting something, um, but some but other times it's quite annoying as well. So let's go ahead and click X to remove that selection. Let's undo this tangent chain. And now, as you can see, we only select this edge and this one and this one, which is exactly what we want. Now, let's try one millimeter again. And it says error. So what that means is when we look at this, when we select this face, obviously it's going to do it's going to put a fillet to this edge as well. But when we're putting a one millimeter radius to this edge, it, uh, it interferes with the fillet created over here. Now, the computer in the Fusion 360 doesn't like that very much. So what it's going to say is it's an error and we can't do that. So what we have to do instead is we either have to edit this fillet or we need to um, or we just can't fillet this one at all. So that is an issue, and that and um, remember when designing on Fusion 360, you always have to take that into consideration when you're actually doing your dimensions before you um, before you start doing the CAD for it. Okay. So anyway, so so for this one, we can just ignore the fillets for this. If you want, you can go back and edit the fillet for this yourself. All you need to do is uh, uh, all you need to do is select one of these just make sure you're selecting the right fillet it's probably this one right click on that hit edit fillet and um and that will and uh, through that you can edit the radius and then you can carry on so right now we're going to select we're going to just do the fillets for these uh, for this box over here so let's just select this all these faces Let's give them one mem one mem. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Another function of fillets, as you can see over here, is it also provides more material. So the edge that we had over there, the plain edge, that wouldn't be very that structurally that wouldn't be very great because an impact from any of these sides, as, except from the top, would me uh, would um would could could break this entire section off more easy more easily and that's something we don't want to have so um, so because of that um, the fillets like this is very important and it provides more important uh, more structural integrity basically and that's all from this lesson so we've uh, the bottom doesn't need to be filleted because it's rubber and um, rubber automatically it can't cut you exactly it can't cut you very easily especially if the rubber is soft so we don't need to fillet that and that's and we've covered everything in this video regarding fillets and that's about it for this lesson thank you so much for watching and uh the next uh lesson will be about uh drawings so we'll look at how to create uh, draw three uh, 2D drawings for this that are working drawings that will make it more easy easier to manufacture this if you're not uh, 3D printing it. So let's do that in the next lesson. Thank you for, so much for watching and uh, have a lovely day.